welcome back to my channel. Today is the second episode of the handstand series. So what we're going to be going through today is the very beginner basic drills that will set up a foundation for you to move on and progress to some wall handstand kick ups, some intermediate handstands and some advanced handstands. Really, really excited to show you guys this one. I have had so many people ask me about this. This instructional is absolutely perfect for the people who have a fear of going upside down or falling out of a handstand. Today, we're not actually going to be inverting into a handstand at all. You're just going to do some movements and some holds that are gonna build up your foundational strength to be able to progress forward in your handstand journey. So, let's get started. First thing we have that we are going to be doing is a basic dish hold. So what we're going to be focusing on is pushing our lower back to the ground, inching in with our stomach, really hollowing out through the body. We're keeping our arms nice and tight next to our ears, all the way up, and our legs are slightly raising up above the ground. We're gonna hold this for around about 10 seconds, and then we're gonna release back down to the ground and have a rest. Now, there is an easier position for you to do if this one is too advanced, you can come up into a tuck hold. So we're going to do the same thing, however, we're going to lower our arms down to the side, bring up our knees in a tuck position, just sitting vertically above our hips, holding at that position for our 10 seconds, and then releasing back down. If you guys find that one too easy, do try the dish hold. Even if you don't make the 10 seconds, do as long as you can. If 10 seconds is too easy for you, jump into 30 second holds, jump into a minute hold, extend it out for as long as possible. This position that you're doing in a dish handstand is going to be super, super, super important when it comes to your positioning in a handstand because we do want our core to be engaged and we do want that rounded back. We don't want to be opening everything up and ending up in a banana handstand. Our second exercise for today is a plank hold and a front support hold. So we're going to start with a plank hold, which is on our elbows. We're really trying to round out through the back. So bringing the chest in and rounding out over our back. And then we are dropping through the glutes and the hips and keeping our legs nice and tight together. So as you can see on the video, I'm very, very hunched in my back and then the rest of my body is quite straight. We really, really wanna be focusing on that. So the same goes for our front support, making sure our hands are shoulder distance apart and we're rounding out through the back again, dropping through the glutes, squeezing, squeezing those glutes and keeping the legs together. Holding that one. Really try and bring that core in, really try and suction into that core because that's again going to help us so much in the positioning in our future handstands that we do. The third exercise that we are going to be doing are some front support shoulder lockouts. So we're going to enter back into our front support position, hands nice and shoulder width apart. We're going to start in our hunched front support position, really pushing up through the chest, squeezing the glutes. And then we're going to relax through the shoulders, keeping our position nice and tight, but just relaxing through the shoulders, contracting the scapula. And then we're going to go back to our starting position where we close our chest again. So we're opening up, contracting the scapula, closing again, hunching through the back. We're getting all of those muscles, all of those joints, all of the stabilizers in your shoulders and around your scapula nice and warmed up for our next exercise. Alrighty, number four. Our fourth exercise for today is a standing overhead weighted position hold. So what this is focusing on is obviously our position in a handstand. Ultimately, it's an inverted handstand. So we're not hands down this time, we're hands up, but we've got some sort of weight above our head. We are locking out through our shoulders, making sure our elbows are nice and straight. We're looking up at our hands, squeezing in through the tummy, hunching in through that tummy like we did for our dish positions before, pushing our hips a little bit forward. So we're doing that under rotation, squeezing the glutes, keeping the legs nice and tight, holding for however long you feel like. I did about 10 seconds. Usually if I'm fully training these, I'll hold anywhere between 50 seconds and a minute, and then I'll go and do a handstand hold either on the wall, 
or freestanding, so that's me personally. But when you guys are doing these, a, look, a good little combo would be to do this overhead weighted hold and then maybe do a front support hold. Back to this one, back to that one. So swapping out between those two, this one is super important because again, it's an inverted handstand. If you can nail the handstand positioning upright, then when you do end up going upside down, it's gonna be a lot easier to click into that muscle memory position each time. Exercise number five is a 45 degree leaning hold on the wall. So you're going to pretty much be leaning up against the wall. Again, like what we did with the overhead weight plate hold, we're gonna be pushing out through the shoulders, really locking in our head and looking in between our palms, squeezing our glutes and staying nice and tight. Now, the lower you close that degree of angle between the ground and your body, the harder it's gonna to be to hold. Please, please make sure that when you are doing this, you're keeping your body nice and straight and you don't have any right angle points. So trying to keep it nice and straight, the way that we can do that is push our hips forward and squeeze our glutes. Very last exercise and the most important for this tutorial is our L elevated hold. So what we're going to do is placing our hands on the floor, placing our knees on an elevated surface. For this instance, I am using a box. Placing my knees on the box, I'm going to have my hands shoulder width apart, looking down at my hands. Now, from here, I'm going to straighten out my legs into an L hold. So you can see my feet are a little bit further back on the box than what my knees were, but all I had to do was straighten out my legs to get to that position. Now, this is building up strength in your shoulders, which is the most important component of handstands, is your upper body strength. We're gonna hold this for as long as we can. If you feel a little bit adventurous, we can start trying to lift one leg up. So what you're going to do is bend through one leg, raise it up into the air, and then bring it back down. Again, this is the same thing, however, you've got a change of weight, so you're going to have more weight in your hands now than before, and you're also focusing on squeezing your glutes and making sure your legs are in the right position. We don't want that top leg to be any further forward or further back than straight up and down in line with our back. So we want it as straight as possible. You can come back down and swap back legs and do that forth and back, forth and back, just be certain that when you are doing these drills that we're really focusing on our shoulders, so our hands, sorry, our shoulders and our back. They're the main points because if they're all aligned in a nice straight line, that's when you're going to have the right amount of weight put into those joints, your shoulders, your upper body to really get those muscles working and build up that strength. That is it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. The very next one we have coming up is the beginner wall drills. So if you guys exceeded this tutorial here or you are at the level where you want to start working towards wall drills, that is coming up next. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know below, like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next video.